couple of years ago, I attended a conference in Barcelona entitled um, The Struggle for Socialism in Nations Without the State. I represented the Scottish Socialist Party there. I spent about a week there at the, the conference and uh, speaking at other meetings in the region. Um, and of course, it was a, being in Barcelona, it was numerically dominated by socialists from Catalonia, a lot of socialists from the Basque Country, me from Scotland, basically. And the interesting thing about the meeting, and a very well attended conference, and some of the other discussions, that when you stop to socialists from Catalonia, socialists from the Basque Country, socialists that were socialists there from Galicia, Galicia and places like that, was how much the discussion mirrored the kind of discussions we were having in Scotland, that socialists were having in Scotland about the issues of independence. And the discussions tended to be uh, centred on two issues. The first was that the struggle for independence can't be an end in itself, but has to be a means to an end. It's not just about achieving independence, as desirable as that is, it's about the nature of that independence, it's about achieving, an, it's about achieving a better and a different type of society, and that that had to be emphasised. And the second was this view that the left in each particular country who, who embraced independence had to throw itself entirely into the movement for independence to try and achieve that goal. But they also had to come into that movement with a distinctly socialist perspective, so that they brought those socialist ideas as an important strand within that movement. Um, that conference was two years ago, and I think things have moved on, not just here, but right across Europe. You saw in Barcelona on Tuesday night, anything upwards of two million people brought the city to a standstill in a pro-independence demonstration. Now, I'm not sure we would get two million people in the streets of Glasgow or Edinburgh for an independence demonstration. But what th one thing we will know is that over the next couple of years, there will be hundreds of meetings and hundreds of events and lots of demonstrations and all sorts of activities involved in the, the struggle to win a yes for it in the referendum, but also to try and inject um, some of our left-wing ideas into that movement. And I think the Scottish Socialist Party will be intricately involved in all that. Hence the meeting here tonight, it might not be two million tonight at the Cooper Institute, but we'll be all to start these movements somewhere. With that in mind, I'll, I'll, I'll go straight into the meeting. I'm going to first of all introduce Lindsay um, as a, a younger comrade, a female comrade. I don't, we're not trying to be tokenistic here, but these things are important in terms of our own party and our own movement. And I'll introduce Lindsay. <laughs> 